Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the crypto markets in general, talking about Bitcoin, talking about some news that could change this trend. And then we're also going to be talking about ADA and some questions that have gotten between ETH and ADA. Let's get into it. First and foremost, guys, the big news for what's happening is the US, the House has finally passed the stimulus bill $1.9 trillion. I believe the House has passed this. So I think next up is the Senate. I'm not quite sure of American politics. So Keep that in mind but this is at least good news because once this money floods into the legacy system it will bleed off into the crypto markets now in general it's a 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus package that doesn't mean that all 1.9 trillion dollars is going to individual people but this has been a bill that they've been working on for a couple of weeks if not a few months maybe so it's good to finally see this come it is what it is we're already printing money so I want to take a minute here to talk about the effects of printing money, hyperinflation. Uh, but I, I want to preface that with I am in favor for a stimulus bill and checks going to people directly. I'm completely in favor of that. I know that we need it. However, with a caveat, and this is the but, uh, one third of American dollars has been printed in 2020. And now we're going into 2021 and we have no slowdown. j Pow is, you know, all all gas, no brakes, essentially. And so really, the American economy is just going to keep going this way. And the reason why this matters so much, because I understand that most of my viewers aren't American, but the reason why this matters so much is because the USD is the global backed currency. Everything revolves around the United States dollar and the US economy. It's an unfortunate fact. And unfortunately, we're heading into some very volatile times for the stock market and for the legacy system. A lot of people have been freaking out about the recent crypto bleed. And just to put this in perspective, the Dow Jones has been down. Stock markets have been bleeding. Everyone's been crying out by the dip, by the dip in every market. I, I, I hear gold is down. Silver is apparently going up, but it, I think it's I think the price is down right now, but it could be wrong. But I know that generally everything is bleeding. So it is not just crypto. We do need to make sure that when we're looking at these dips, we don't just one, we're not looking at the altcoin that we're trading in at that moment. If that's dipped, maybe there's something else going on in terms of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is dipped. Okay, what's making Bitcoin dip? And if that's not isolated to a Bitcoin issue, typically it goes out to the legacy systems like the stock markets or other critical news that's affecting the markets. Remember that all these markets aren't based on logic or reason. It's all based on emotion. It's literal human emotion that we're trading in. And you see stocks like GameStop again shooting up to the moon. These are things of indicators of a dying stock market and a dying economy. And I understand we're in some of the best stock market prices we've ever had ever in history. But that was the exact same thing that happened with Venezuela. So just put this in perspective. Oftentimes when stock markets are doing so well and we're in such an economic downturn, there's something else that's going on and it's going to be a much worse situation than Bitcoin going down to 43K. Okay, let's talk about Bitcoin. Let's put everything in perspective now that we know the stimulus is coming. Now that we've talked about how much legacy markets affect how Bitcoin moves. We're going to be talking about the last bull market. So I touched on this before in the previous video uh, and I did have this measured out, but from this top here to this bottom, that's about a 30, 31, 32% drop uh, because that's wicked. We'll say it's around a 23, 24% drop. Um, I think that's fair. Uh, now I'm not a TA guy, so I'm not giving you guys any TA or anything. I'm just looking at previous bull markets how that's trended and then how I expect this to go. Uh, so just to get you understanding my thinking of why I think this way, I don't think the bull market's over. I personally think we're going to be going at least for a couple more months, I think until September, but I could be wrong on that. So if you look at this recent dip and this looks terrifying, it looks like a lot like that's a, a big gash right there, but that's 26%. Right. So we arguably aren't even done. We're not even through the worst of it. Realistically, we can hit around the 38. Nope. Sorry. Realistically, we can hit around the 38,000 mark. And if we go below that, if we go below 28,000, I think then is 
the time to scream that the sky is falling. Uh, but at the end of the day, everyone in right now that's really emotional, and I know this because a lot of the people that have been in all through this phase, here and here, they're not freaking out. This is so normal. Everyone that's freaking out has been buying Bitcoin here, buying Bitcoin here, buying Bitcoin here. Why are you freaking out? This is a buying opportunity. This is when you buy. And again, we talked about that it's in the last video, but these times are when you buy, right? You buy methodically and you you open up and, and bring in your positions. There's certain uh, tokens that I wouldn't open positions in, uh, but personally, I'm opening a position in SNX. I'm opening a position in Aave. I'm getting into a lot of the coins that I didn't get into before. Now, that being said, if you don't have a Bitcoin position, yeah, it might be smart to get into this dip. I'm not financial advice or anything, but I do think Bitcoin could go a lot further. And let's go back to the 2017 chart and talk about that for a second. Because again, I say, okay, we're not quite done with this dip, but let's look at where that dip led the 2017 bull run. So it led from there a 263% increase. Now, again, it's, I'm, I'm amateur at TA. I'm just giving you guys a ballpark of what I am thinking. So ballpark of what I am thinking is we will reach the same. So let's, let's be conservative and let's just say 300%. We're still at 120 K Bitcoin, right? So if you buy in now, you could be tripling your money again, not financial advice. I'm just saying that this is where it could go at the end of this bull cycle. That being said, Bitcoin's eventually going to hit this price. Maybe not this bull cycle. If I'm completely wrong, and it could be, if I'm if I am wrong, Bitcoin's eventually going to hit it. If not this year, in four years from now, right? So, regardless, is Bitcoin a good buy down here? Yes, absolutely. Um, do I think any others are a good buy? Would I open up? And this is a question that I'm going to get a lot, and I get a lot. Should I open up an ADA position? And I get this specific question: Should I sell my ETH for ADA? Now, I, I recently got this question from a good friend of mine. Should I sell my uh, ETH for ADA? And ETH is down to, I think it was down to 14, um, around 1400, floating around 1350 right now. But no, I, I still believe in a 3000 uh, plus ETH. I still believe in a, a much higher ETH than what we have now. It's going to go up. Would I sell ETH now at a loss if I had purchased ETH before? And again, I want to preface this, I, I'm not a financial advisor and I do have all of my ETH currently staked, so I cannot sell at all, but this is what I would do. I would hold, I would hold at least until higher levels. If I was able to sell my ETH, I would, um, but at higher levels, definitely not at this level. I'm not looking to sell anything at this level. And if you are selling anything at this level, I would argue that you're probably selling out of emotions because the market is going to go up and if you're selling now, it's because you're capitulating because of fear. And that's the one thing that you don't want to do in this market is you don't want to let your fears and your emotions take hold and make you do things that you will regret. So obviously ADA has been a great investment in this whole thing. It's really stood its test in this bull market and everything. Um, I, I, I love seeing it above $1.20 even though. And I, I think with ADA, we've we've generally seen this uh, pressure where it'll go up, it'll shoot up and break a milestone. It might dip a little bit and capitulate down, but it has a good resistance level up at those uh, higher marks and it's able to hold above that mark. Um, and again, you see it goes over a dollar, it capitulates down below, but it consistently goes back and holds at around a dollar. Um, so very fair. And I think we're seeing the same thing where we went up to a buck 40 and now we're just holding at around a dollar 20. And I think we're going to see that for a little while. And there you go. You heard me say a buck 40. There you go. If there was any other indicator that I'm a Canadian, there it is. Uh, realistically, where can ADA go? I, I think we've talked about this a number of times on the channel. And I, again, I'm not going to make any grandiose price predictions, but I do think ADA one is going to be a long-term hold. I don't know if I will ever sell all my ADA. I probably won't sell any of it, to be honest. Once we do get some DeFi coming out for ADA, most likely what I'll do is I'll take all of my ADA and start doing things like providing liquidity, go full degen mode within uh, any decentralized exchanges amongst the ADA system. I'll definitely be documenting anything like that on the YouTube channel. So once I do do it, you'll absolutely be able to see. Uh, but I, I generally probably won't sell 
the bulk of my ADA bags. I am looking at certain altcoins, which altcoins I am cashing out, which coins I'm not. Right now, I haven't sold anything, but I will be looking to sell things once Bitcoin hits at around the 70k mark. And again, that's going to be slow and methodical. So I talk about dollar cost averaging in and dollar cost averaging out. You should be taking a percentage, maybe increasing the percentage slightly every week, every two weeks, whatever it is, and not even think about it. Just have those scheduled days where you just sell. That way you're selling up all the way up and then you're selling on the way down. And then you probably have a little bit left over for the next bear market. Most likely too, if you haven't watched my cash out video, I'll link that uh, below, but I will most likely be going through and cashing out into PAX Gold because we obviously have a gold bull market. I did say something in the last video, buy paper silver if you don't wanna you know, buy physical silver and deal with the premium. Buy physical silver. Buy physical silver. Be who cares about the premium? The premium doesn't matter. Usually the premium is often baked in because we know silver is going to go up. We, we know silver and gold are currently going into a bull market. So I'd be less worried about the premium. And at this point, I think we're heading into some very volatile times with individual countries. Now, some countries might fare a little bit better than others. But I do personally see some very troubling things happening in Canada and the United States. And a lot of that comes down to the monetary policy. Again, I've talked about this before on the channel, and I don't want to cry that the sky is falling, but the sky is legitimately falling. We're printing money into oblivion. And I, I think at this point, it's time to look at what we should be cashing out into. And I'm not sure that the fiat currency systems in Canada and the US and whatever country you might be in, I don't think that those are safe stores of value right now. Okay, so now that I've gotten my inner Peter Schiff out of me, um, I guess lastly, we'll, we'll kind of wrap up this video and, and talk about some things. I know everyone's emotions are really high and I know it's been pretty scary going through what we've seen over the last couple of days. I just want everyone to be ready for a little bit more dips. We could still see a couple more days or weeks of low times and that's very possible. Uh, but alternatively, we could see the stimulus check really turn things around, especially if legacy markets pick back up and, and are able to carry their weight once that happens because again that's a, a huge 100 trillion dollar market uh the stock market that is going to absolutely push the crypto market the, our measly little 1.5 trillion dollar market okay so i hope that puts everything into perspective for everyone i hope if you are worried that this alleviated that and i hope everyone that's not worried is obviously having a good day again i don't let things like this affect me or how i feel Often things like this just roll off my back and I just move forward with whatever I'm doing. Take this opportunity to buy some projects that you haven't built a position in. That's probably the best thing to do. All right, everyone. That's it for me. Happy hodling.